Yo, so I know this is an unusual video for me because I don't normally do football videos, but I wanted to do my Premier League prediction video of the season, so yeah. And if you enjoyed me talking about football, link is to my second channel where I literally just talk about Newcastle. So yeah, that is it. Links in the description. I just talk about Newcastle. But yeah, without further ado, let's go on with the actual prediction. 20 is Hull City. The only reason for this is they lost Steve Bruce. I feel like if they kept Steve Bruce, they would have had a real chance. And there's been new owners and they've not actually brought in any, barely any players. I think they've got the lowest squad depth in the uh, Premier League. So yeah, they're at number 20. Okay, number 19, it's Burnley. Uh, uh, normally teams that just come up normally go back down unless they do massive transfers or they get massive managers. Like last season Watford managed to stay up because they spent quite a lot of money and they got a interesting manager. So yeah, I don't think Burnley are going to stay up. Now I've seen Sunderland just in the relegation. I feel like their squad's not great. They have a good manager, but I feel like Fat Sam was more adapted to survive with them. But sadly, well... Happily, because I'm a Newcastle fan, he went to England. But sad, because I'm an England fan, and he went to England. Because I don't really rate Sam as a good manager, but I rate him as a perfect manager to keep teams in the league, and that's what someone needed. So yeah, 17th Bournemouth. I feel like they've got a good young manager, and I feel like their the squad's not that bad. Yes, it's not great, but it's not bad. They've brought in Jack Wilshaw, and they've got a great striker in Wilson, I believe. Yeah, Wilson, and um, yeah. And they lost their best player to Newcastle, though. That's why I don't feel like they'll do better. At number 16, Swansea. I don't know what it is. I, I don't rate their team. Out of all the teams that I've in the league, I feel like they've got the worst. They've lost one, one of the best players they've had ever, probably. I mean, Ashley Williams, and he's also a club captain. I feel like that's going to affect them tremendously. Right, 15th, um, Middlesbrough. They've got a great goal scorer in the grey though, and I feel like their squad isn't actually that bad. They've got some very experienced players such as um, Valdez in goal and Fisher. He's a good little... I, he used to play for Ajax, I really do rate him, so yeah, I feel like they'll have a good season and they might surprise a couple of people. Right, 14th West Brom, I feel like these are going to be the most annoying team to play against. It's a, Tony Pulis is a good old-fashioned manager and he's just going to always do the job. I feel Right, 13th Watford, I really do like their squad and I feel like they've kept all their best players and they didn't, and they've improved, they've improved quite a lot and they, they, they've got great goal scorers too. 12th, Sam, Southampton, I feel like if it wasn't for the transfer window, they will be winning, well, they'll be quite high, but sadly, the transfer window does exist and they always lose their best players and they've lost two of their... Last, well, they've lost their last two managers to higher teams than them, which, so yeah, I just don't think they'll get away of it this year. They always get away of it, but I don't, I don't think they'll get away of it this year. Right, 11th, Crystal Palace. I'm really impressed with the start, uh, their signings in Ben Teke. Remy, even though Remy's injured, um, they've got uh, Mandanda. I really do rate Mandanda. He's a great French goalkeeper, but hopefully Pardew won't mess him up too too bad because trust me I'm a Newcastle fan and I know all about Alan Pardew's terrible tactics at time but when things are going good with Alan Pardew he can be one of the better managers out there but when things are going bad it is bad because he would literally lose 10 in a row so yeah uh, 10th West Ham I feel like they've got a great player in Dimitri Payet and I really do rate West Ham in general but I feel like with their new grounds because they've literally just moved to a new ground I feel like it'll, they'll never really feel like they're playing at home the whole season and I think that will take their toll on them I feel like they'll be great next season but this season they're not going to do much this season I'm afraid and number, and number nine it's Leicester City I love, well, I love what they did last year, but I feel like the whole premise of last year was built on energy. And I feel like with the Champions League football they have to play and the little squad that they do have, I feel like they're not going to do as great. Plus, I believe if they are out of the Champions League by the time next window rolls over, I don't think Mares and Bardi will leave. I feel like they'll jump ship, at least one of them, because Arsenal have come sniffing for both of them. And I feel like Arsenal will need them. So, yeah. Right, eight, Stoke. Um, I feel like they're always the best bet if you're looking for the 8th. Oh, well, anywhere from 10th to 7th. That Stoke are the best bet for anywhere around there. I just rate Stoke as a team. They've got some great players in Chakiri, Butland. So, yeah, I just think they'll stay 8th. I don't think they'll do anything that impressive, but I feel like they'll upset a couple of big clubs. I feel like they'll steal some points off. Right, number 7, Everton. I feel 
But they've got some great young players in Barkley, Lukaku. Yes, they did lose Stones, but they replaced him with one of my favourite centre backs in the league, in Ashley Williams. I feel like he's gonna. He's probably better for them now than Stones is now. Like, yes, Stones might be a ten times better player than Ashley Williams in five years' time, but right now Ashley Williams is the best centre back, and that's what they need a right now player because they've already got great youth players. They just need some experience, and which they have. And under the manager, I feel like they probably. I won't be shocked if they do like they do do better, but. I feel like this is a safe bet. Right, number six, Tottenham slash Spurs. I just they have Champions League. They have a, they have Champions League football and they have a great young squad. But I feel like if one injury to Kane comes along, they're gonna be dropping points a lot. So I know they've bought in a new striker, but I don't really rate him. Fingers crossed they keep Kane fit and all the Leroy fit. If they do, they might still be able to get top four. But I don't think they will get top four this season. At number five, it's Arsenal. I feel like they've brought in some good players in the centre back Mustafi and I'm not a fan of Perez but I like um Shaka is it? I don't know the midfielder's name but I really do think they should have just gone out and bought a massive striker. I know every fan ever just always goes Arsenal need a striker apart from Wenger. Wenger should have just gone for a striker. I, I know he was about to pay it over the odds. They were linked with Higuain. I know he was worth 16 mil, I think, but he's already got three and three. So it's it just proves if if you want to win the league, you have to buy. And, and sadly, they haven't. I do think if Leicester do do bad this season, I feel like uh, Vardy and Moraes will jump ship, and I feel like Arsenal is probably the destination. If they do get them, they might still manage to win the league, but hopefully, it's not too late. Number four, Liverpool. They don't have any Champions League or Europa League football, and they I really do rate their midfield. It's got so many goals and assists, and they've got storage coming back. Well, he's back. If they can keep him in, uh, injury free, they're solid, really. I love their manager. He, the, the, he, the, 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 their manager is probably one of my favourite managers in the league at the moment. Right, number three, it's my United. I was really debating for ages to put them second or third. I went with third in the end because. I just feel like the top, the the two above them are just better suited for it. But the problem with what I feel like Man United have, yes, they've bought great experienced players like Ibra, Pogba, and um, Mkhitaryan, Bolly. But I feel like Bolly, I love Bolly. I love. I think Bolly is a really good signing. I think Ibra was a really good signing. But Mkhitaryan and Pogba, I feel like they was better for cheaper out there. And the players that would have done a better job. For example, Rashford could have easily played instead of Mkhitaryan and Pogba. There were so many CDMs that went for cheaper. Matuidi openly said he plays for Paris Saint-Germain. He openly said that he really wanted to play in the Premier League and it probably would only cost 20 mil. I, just, I don't think Pogba is anywhere worth what they paid for him. I know that they've already paid off what they paid through sales of t-shirts. So I, I, I'm not... It's that's okay, really. So yeah. Now number two, I feel like Chelsea are going to be one of the hardest teams to play against because I think they're going to be very defensive-minded, which is going to be great when they play top ten clubs because they're they're not going to lose drop many points to them. But the problem with what I feel like Chelsea will have is when they play the lesser clubs, they're going to be that defensive. They're going to keep getting draws against lesser teams while other teams, well. The team above them will spank them. They will get like put six past them. I feel like they they're not. Yeah, they're, I feel like they might win the league next year, but not this year. For me, Chelsea are second or third. But for me, second. Right, number one, it's Man City. Man City have the best squad in my opinion and the best manager. So say no more, really. I right, so I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll leave a full list of the every position just so you can pause it and have a look, a better look in detail. So yeah, check out the description to my Newcastle channel below, and yeah, peace. See you next week.